Anytime that you are assigned a story with a very difficult topic, such as infant mortality here in the tri-state, there's a lot to it. This angle actually presented itself to me on a random day just before Christmas when I was sent to cover a turkey ham distribution and April Griffin and Crystal Denard were there. April looked at me and said, why don't you do a real story? There's just so much that didn't make it into the story and the comments that they had were just so profound that I wanted to share. So that's why we're putting this video together. And it starts with Crystal Denard. We're rolling in her office when I just randomly made a comment. This isn't even during an interview, but I made a comment about how she really is exceptional at meeting people with where they are in life as opposed to judging them. This is not something anybody can just do. You really have to be invested in this. And I think because I've been there, I've been homeless before, I've been a single parent, I have four children. Um, I've had to go to food pantries to get food. I've had my lights cut off, I've had my water cut off. I've moved around, so I get it. I've been there and because I understand and I can look at it from a different point of view. Um, so this isn't really something that just anybody can just say, oh, I'm gonna work with this population and just do this. It's something that you really feel within you to, you have to, because it can be so overwhelming. Right after that was the simple question of, do you just ever go home and cry? We do take it home with us sometimes. We do think about, you know, what's happening with so-and-so tonight, especially when we're home in our warm house, in our comfy beds, playing with our kids, watching TV, and you know a client might not be eating tonight. It gets really hard. Sierra Pope put a lot of trust into us to tell her side of the story, and, and the challenge that we had was we didn't want to exploit her situation but a whole lot of her comments in her interview really didn't even make it into the initial story. And so I wanted to take a few moments and, and share her thoughts on her situation. I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant and staying place to place. It's not a lot of resources, it's limited, it's very limited. And um, in my opinion, I feel like it's more help for, you know, drug addicts or alcoholics more than an actual person who, you know, is capable of doing something, but is stuck at a standstill. And how does that make you feel? Sometimes it pisses me off. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, I get very frustrated because I feel like I'm, I'm stuck. The bulk of our information and statistics came from the wonderful people at Cradle Cincinnati that are dedicated to stopping infant mortality, or at least reducing the numbers here in Cincinnati. So hope this video gives you a little more background into the people that are out there, the face of this issue as opposed to the people that are really on the front lines.